Louisville, Kentucky is one of America's oldest river cities. The largest city in Kentucky, it was one of America's earliest and most important logistical hubs. This city, which sits on the banks of the Ohio River, has seen much change, ups and downs during its over 200 year history. This is what happened to Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville, Kentucky was established in 1780 by George Rogers Clark of the Continental Army. Located at the Falls of the Ohio, it would serve as an important portage point on the Ohio River where goods would be moved around the falls. Over time, this river port city would grow, and with this growth, eventually a canal system would be established to bypass the falls and grow even more. A city built off its location on the river, the river boats would bring much trade and commerce through the city throughout the 19th and into the 20th century. As one of the first major cities west of the Appalachian Mountains, it would grow at minimum 22.8% every decade from 1790 to 1910 and would continue to grow all the way to over 390,000 by 1960. While being a big river city, it would also be an important rail city as well, most famously through the Louisville and Nashville Railroad. Through Louisville would come its locally made cars, appliances, and bourbon. Its centralized location in the eastern half of the U.S. would make it easily accessible for business and transport to most of the country's population at the time. The city would not be without its challenges, though, as prohibition would hit its distilling industry. But more notably, in 1936, more than two-thirds of the city was flooded in what would become known as the Great Flood of Louisville, which would result in 90 lives lost and thousands of people displaced. While its economy would stay strong through the wartime years of the 1940s, its post-1950s era would be unkind to the city. After the 1960 census, the population would start to drop, going from just over 390,000 in 1960 to just over 256,000 in 2000. With the construction of highways would come growing suburbanization, people would move further from downtown, and overall metro growth was slowing. Highways would also lessen the importance of the rail and river transport that Louisville was built off of. In 1982, the famous Louisville and Nashville Railroad would go defunct, while many of the companies that Louisville was built off of would either struggle, close, or shed jobs. Tobacco companies, American Standard, Seagram's, and Belknap Inc. would shed thousands of jobs by the 80s. The GE Appliance Park, one of the largest employers in the city, would shed more than half its workforce from the 80s to present while Ford would also cut thousands of jobs in this time period in its local manufacturing in the area as well. A combination of foreign competition, outsourcing, automation, and other factors would lead to these cuts. Louisville simply could not be the manufacturing and transportation hub that it once was. In 2003, the city's population would artificially more than double with the city-county merger of that year. It would see an increase of 6% in the 2020 census, showing that there have been some real gains in the area post-merger. So what happened to Louisville, and where is it going? Simply put, river-centric cities built on manufacturing and logistics have suffered post-World War II. Other cities, such as Cincinnati, Pittsburgh, St. Louis, and others, have all lost many people for these reasons, and Louisville has been no exception. Highways, air travel, decentralization of cities, combined with changes in manufacturing, would hurt the city, as it was the antithesis of what built it. Other large industries in the city, such as tobacco, have simply declined in America altogether. The city does have a few things going for it though. It is still a logistical hub with its centralized location in the east, and this serves it well, having over 25,000 jobs for the United Parcel Service there. Despite the many losses, there are still thousands of jobs at GE Appliance and Ford in the area as well. The University of Louisville employs roughly 6,000 while enrolling over 20,000 students over several campuses in the area. Its population increase is encouraging, as the city's mild climate and waterfront revival can help it as a draw for the area and its downtown. While Louisville has seen much decline and change, its slight population improvement in recent years has shown a turnaround is possible. How big is the question? Thank you for watching.